Welcome, boys and girls. I'm here to read a book, The Louis Riel Day, The Fur Trade Project. And it's written by Deborah Delarond. She's a Métis who lives on the west side of Lake Winnipegosis on a cattle ranch. And she writes children books about Métis history. The illustrator, and you can see some of the pictures as we go along. His name is Sheldon Dawson. He specializes in children's books. He's been nominated three times for the best illustrated book of the year award in Manitoba. And his paintings have been exhibited in galleries all over Manitoba. And here we are, the beginning of the book, The Louis Riel Day. And I'm going to try and show the pictures and read the poem to you. And I'll show you this picture to start with, The Fur Trade Project. A young boy went to school one day and was surprised to see his teacher had planned a project on the fur trade history. Who cares what happened long ago? I like daring quests and glory, said the boy. Teacher said, ask a parent to help you present this project as a story. What am I going to do? Mum works hard each day. And then he thought of Grandpa and he knew he'd be okay. They used search engine keywords, beaver pelts, and the fur trade. Strong demand for hats in Europe. Prime beaver highest prices paid, and they found out about the fur trade. And here's a picture of building a fort. Scottish, French, and English men built forts by river and lake. They work for fur trade companies with supply and demand at stake. Traders, trappers, hunters, married daughters of the country their children became interpreters. They are a nation called the Métis. And here they are getting their canoes out. Families helped load canoes for river highway travel. Voyagers hauled trading goods with strength, canoe and paddle. They guided and were middlemen. They sealed the deals between the fur trade posts and trappers, an important business team. Lord Selkirk brought the settlers. When the buffalo roamed free, they settled along the Red River in the heartland of the Métis. The Métis hunted buffalo to keep the settlers fed with pemmican, the fur trade fuel. That's what the website said. When fashions turned to silk hats, instead of beaver felt, Rupert's land was sold to Ottawa, and the fur trade land was dealt. Ottawa sent surveyors to divide square blocks of land. The Métis wrote to Ottawa, who owns these heartlands? The Métis wanted deeds to land that faced the river, but Ottawa ignored them. Their letters got no answer. This caused concern and anger. So Riel, Louis Riel, was asked to plan, start the Red River resistance and help Métis keep their land. When Louis's faithful followers were forced to fight again, they battled at Batoche, but lost to Middleman's men. Riel was called a traitor, a defender to the end. His deeds would live forever. In time, hearts would mend. The Métis were forgotten. They moved to barren land. And then the settlers would not want to rebuild and test their hand. In their time of solitude, 100 years would pass. They kept with their traditions of music, song, and dance. To homeland, 
homemade screeching fiddles, they jig in moccasined feet. Their anthem named Red River, the jig, stirs the heart a galloping beat. For the spirit can't be broken, a way of life remains. Families take the time to celebrate, despite their loss, no shame. Riel left a legacy with a list of rights he wrote. That all the customs be respected and laws be passed by vote. My teacher won't believe me when I read my story poem. Although you did the research, I'll do the rest at home. When the boy went back to school, he was the first to start, to stand and read his poem written from his heart. This was a hard assignment, he said. My grandpa did help me to write and explain our research so you'll understand and see that history is about people who should by their belief, who didn't act for glory, knowing conflict ends in grief. I didn't think the past important that brave deeds a hero make. I learned that history teaches us, don't repeat the same mistake. And so we celebrate a special day with spirits true and free. Hooray for Louis Riel Day, the fur trade and the Métis.